Hello students, welcome to Ingenious Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the supporting wheel on a scaffold is held in place on the leg using 4 mm diameter pin as shown. So here the pin is having 4 mm diameter. This is the front view of the wheel that I have drawn here. So the diameter of the wheel is 4 mm. And it is said that if the wheel is subjected to a normal force of 3 kN, so here we have 3 kN force. In the front view, we have that 3 kN force here. So it is said that determine the average shear stress developed in the pin. So we have to find the shear stress that is developed in the pin. Neglect friction between the inner scaffold scaf puller leg and the tube used on the wheel. So as you guys can see that if this wheel is subjected to this 3 kN force in the upward direction, so what will happen is that uh, the cross section of this pin uh, will be subjected to a shear stress. And that shear stress will be due to the shear force at, at these points. So if, if let's say if this is our pin, so this 3 kN force is directly transferred to the pin. So we will have that 3 kN force on the pin in the upward direction as well. So this will be our 3 kN force. And here we will have the shear force. So let's say here we have the shear force V and, and here we will have the shear force V. So now if we apply the sum of the forces in the Y direction that must be equals to 0. Upward direction is considered to be positive. Now we have this... Um, v force is in the downward direction that is in the negative y direction so we will write minus 2v and 3 kN force is in the positive y this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that this is minus 3 divided by minus 2 so v is equal to plus 1.5 and this 1.5 is in kN so the shear force at the cross section here is equal to 1.5 kN. So if you want to find the average shear stress on the area because this pin is having a circular cross section then the area of the pin is we can say that the area of the pin will be equal to pi divided by 4 d square and so this is pi divided by 4 and Diameter is 4 mm, so we will write 4 divided by 1000 since we want to have it the area in meter square. So 4 divided by 1000 square. So we can say that this is pi divided by 4 multiplied by 4 divided by 1000. We can say this is 12.56 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 meter square. You guys can see we have uh, in the answer we have four zeros. So if we shift the point to six decimal places, then this area will be 12.56 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters square. So similarly, we can find the average shear stress. This will be equal to that V divided by the area. So V is we can say 1.5 kilonewton. So kilo is basically 10 raised to the power 3. Newton and this is 12.56 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 meter square so we will have 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 12.56 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 6 so this is equal to we can say that T average the shear stress average is equal to 119 Four two six seven five one point five and Newton per meter square is Pascal. Now, if we shift this decimal point to the left side, and if we shift it to six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six digits, so we will have one one nine into ten raised to the power six Pascal. And 10 raised to power 6 is megapascal, so 119 megapascal. This is the average shear stress that is developed in the pin due to the normal force which is applied at the wheel. 